We're here with Trisha from Luxury Daily. Trisha, what do you think is the main message in this article? Um, I think that just New York flagship stores from luxury brands need to try a little bit harder in catering to Chinese tourists and even um, just overall Asian tourists from all different parts of um, the country just because um, some of the experts that I talked to said that um, New York stores were slacking a little on catering to the Chinese tourists in particular. Um, So I think that just having staff on hand that's very um, trained in the languages that these tourists are speaking, in their customs, in the way that they usually handle transactions. Um, There's also a good point made that um, store employees should know the brand's presence in China just so they can be referring tourists um, to the flagship stores back um, in their hometowns, which is important overall for a luxury brand to really continue its sales beyond just um, Um, targeting the tourists in New York. And why is this demographic so important to luxury retailers? Um, Well, I think that Chinese tourists, tourism in New York is huge right now. Um, There's very, there's lots of emerging luxury consumers in China that really want to travel. And I think that New York is, um, well, in my opinion, the greatest (laughs) um, host of all the luxury brand flagship stores. So not only are um, Chinese consumers traveling here, but they're going out of their way to visit these stores because they're really into um, these luxury brands now. So I think that by reeling them in when they choose to come into these stores is a really good way to create brand loyalists. Great, thank you.